Hello, sweet friend. My name is Micah, and in this video, I want to share with you a lovely, lovely Happy Mail package that arrived. I got my first order from Miso Paper, and then I also want to share with you some of my TNs, uh, show you some journaling pages I've done recently. I haven't featured these journals in a, I think, in a long time, uh, and so I thought it would be just fun to give you an overview of what's currently happening on my desk, I suppose. And so if you're in the mood for just a lovely chat about stationery and journals, then this video is for you. So first off, let's dive into this wonderful magical box. Uh, this was my first order from Miso Paper, but it's uh, definitely not going to be the last because uh, this Happy Mail was just so wonderful. It completely made my day. Barbara, who is the owner of Miso Paper, is just a wonderful person. I had the chance to interact with her and chat with her a few times this year, and yeah, she's just wonderful. And I mean, look at these freebies that she sent with my order. So there's a bunch of just ephemera bits and um, tape samples. So there we have this lovely PET girl and just this is just so delicate and everything goes together so wonderfully. Like this is not just random bits and pieces. This all goes together. You could totally, uh, you know, create a spread with all of this. I love this tape too with the photographs, with these subtle colors. It's amazing. And then I, I guess these are Christmas baubles, Christmas ornaments. It's gorgeous. And then it came back with this wonderful postcard here and look at that kitty <laughs> if you've been around here for a while you know i love cats and that is just so precious with this girl walking in this field with with the cat just lovely just so so lovely and thoughtful and then here we got some more tape samples some more girlies with the backpack and a pumpkin very seasonally appropriate <laughs> and um, this is beautiful uh, this is similar to actually a tape I'm going to show you in just a moment that I ordered um, so that's interesting yeah just really really fun and then again another uh, postcard and this is also a spoiler of another item that I ordered but look another kitty and I, I actually got to chat with the illustrator of this postcard on Instagram. Wait, her name is uh, Ryoko Tamura, and that's her Instagram handle. And she told me that she actually, um, this cat is Barbara's cat. Uh, so she designed it based on um, the shop owner's cat. Isn't that lovely? I think that's so sweet. I love knowing these kinds of details on on products. Uh, but yeah, so uh, speaking of PET tapes, um, something very, very exciting. Barbara just had her fifth anniversary with Miso Paper and she collaborated with a bunch of artists and came out with exclusive products. So this here, I think I'm going to put the box a little bit out of the way. Maybe that makes it easier to see these beautiful, beautiful motifs. Um, so she collaborated with Nettle and Twig and they came up with this PET tape and look at it. I mean, is there anything more cute and more cozy and whimsical? It's It's got stationery, it got tea, it's got art supplies and mushrooms and Here's some knitting supplies and I mean, it's just so, so gorgeous and cute and cozy. And it just keeps on going. I don't know if I have any other PET tape that has such a long repeat. And there's a little fox character, another fox and the birdies. I love the birdies. <laughs> They're my favorite. And something that I'm really excited about is how many like little things are included that you can just scatter throughout your spreads. I think that's very versatile. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just so, so excited to use, oh my God, the hedgehogs. They are just so precious. Um, so yeah, we, we still haven't reached the end of the loop yet. Um, oh yeah, okay, we are coming close. Oops, sorry, I booped to the camera. Yeah, there's the repeat. Like, oh my goodness, all of these motifs. That is insane. That is just massive. So yeah, um, I am so, so excited for this. And look at the chunk of this roll too. Um, but yeah, there, there's just so much to use. And I think though it does have some obvious fall vibes, it, there's still a plenty uses for this even in, in other seasons. And also, I think fall is just a lifestyle, <laughs> you know? So uh, yeah, I'm not at all concerned about this. Yeah, this is just fantastic. Uh, so, and then another exclusive item she came out with um, is this Traveler's Notebook regular sized folder. It's in collaboration with Ryoko Tamura, who I've mentioned when I've talked about that postcard. And then it has these, this lovely girl here on the front with her coffee. And there's a moon there and all the leaves and then you open it up and here we have our kitty friend so cute and then on the back you get the tree and I just love these lines that are drawn into the tree trunk that's just so gorgeous and how fun is that then you can bring all the fall vibes into your traveler's notebook so cute really fun so that's very very exciting and i I've, i feel like i've never seen anyone make a product like that this sort of uh, traveler's notebook style folder with a design on it maybe i just don't know about it but to me that's a very seems very unique product okay so something else that's really cool about um barbara's shop is that you can buy PET tape samples, um, so you they are sold by the loop or by a repeat. So you can buy multiple repeats, but um, yeah, for you to just um, get a feel of a tape to either decide if you want to have it as a full roll, or maybe you think maybe one or two repeats are gonna you know serve you well, and you don't want to commit to a whole roll then that's just great so these florals for example um, I'm considering getting a full roll of because I could see myself using that over and over again I mean they're just so versatile to sprinkle throughout uh, all kinds of different pages so that's that and then I also got a sample of this here with these cute I don't know if they're um, geese or ducks and other birds and then some are in this sort of watercolor style and others are just gold foil silhouettes really really precious i think it's just so cute um and i i love the artwork but i think you know one repeat is enough i don't know how many how many of these geese i would want in my journal but yeah, just for, you know, here and there. So cute. So yeah, that's that one. And then maybe I don't bother rolling it back up. And then the last sample that I ordered is, this is I think from Pion. They have these uh, floral flame frames and they're actually on this like white paper, but they do, I think they have a sticky backing and then they're perforated so you can easily rip off um, each frame or label um, but I thought these would be so fun and then you can write a quote in there or a name or just a date if you want it to have a really big sort of like date label <laughs> but yeah so cute and again this was something where I wasn't quite sure if I needed a whole roll of I'll see how much I'm gonna use these and then decide whether or not to upgrade but very very pretty I love a good floral frame. I think that's so fun. You can also just layer these in the background. You don't have to necessarily um, write in these, you know, just um, 
put that in the background of and layer something on top of it uh, but then the main reason I put in a, this order were these washi tapes uh, these three I know are from Yohaku I love Yohaku tapes they're when it comes to washi tapes they're a little bit more on the pricey side uh, but I just couldn't resist. I could see myself using these so much and so I figured it was uh, worth it because they're just really really good standbys um, and then I don't quite remember the maker of this tape but um, if you're interested I can look that up just leave any questions in the comments below. Yeah aren't these so pretty? Um, we can actually swatch these out here in just a moment so yeah um, very very happy about my happy mail <laughs> which is always a good thing and then I can actually pull out the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about um, and then we can also swatch those um, washi washi tapes in here and maybe I'll zoom you in just a little so I had bought this passport TN on Facebook marketplace last year but I haven't really used it much um, since then. Uh, so the other day, it f f or like a week ago or so, it fell into my hands and I was just like, wow, this is so cute. And it I don't know, it's just a nice form factor because it's so small. Sorry about that charm there. Um, and so I was like, well, maybe I can figure out how to actually use this. Um, the charm, by the way, I took one of my Pandora bracelet um, charms uh, of my bracelet. I don't wear that bracelet very often and so I figured maybe this little cute little angel here um, can keep me company while I journal. Um, so I started a grid insert and I was basically just testing out uh, whether or not I would like to keep a creative journal in the passport size and I must say that decorating this has been a lot of fun and writing in this too. There's just something about the small size I think that makes me feel like oh this journaling is not a big deal like there's no barrier to entry here. I don't weigh whether or not a thought or a memory is worth taking up a page or a spread. I know that that's a weird way to think about journaling but sometimes I do catch myself thinking those things and so this doesn't seem to be causing that <laughs> or eliciting those kinds of thoughts in me. And it got to the point where I was thinking well maybe I should do all my journaling in passport size. Maybe a six is still too big but uh, upon further reflection I think part of this too is just it's a new thing right you can you can get excited about uh, trying something new and I do think something that this so far has shown me is that I do like working with these smaller ephemera elements and making these little clusters of things and I can easily adapt that into the A6 and I something that I always keep in mind of is I do like to have favorites. I like to for example stick to one size notebook and come, come what may I, I just trust that that size is the right size for me. I don't know if that makes any sense but I feel like passport, though there are many makers nowadays uh, that make passport inserts, it's not as common as the A6. So no matter what, I will always be able to find an A6 notebook. And I do take a lot of comfort in that, I think, uh, just to sort of like build out a routine. Um, like, yeah, yeah, it's a comfort factor. And so I am going to stick to the A6 and journaling. Plus also the thing about the passport size. Um, so for example, I love including uh, notepads like this uh, in as a tip-in 
in my journal. And even this is too big to be tipped in. And with these kinds of designs, it's not like you can, you know, cut something off. I mean, of course you can glue it in over the, the spine, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe this has worked for now, but if I was to do, you know, an entire year in something like this, that I would find situations in which the passport is too small and I, I have done enough journaling in A6 to know that most of the time A6 is plenty, plenty space for me. I do like smaller notebooks for sure. I, I definitely am someone who uh, prefers that. It's just cozy. <laughs> I don't know. And it's easy to fill. It's, uh, I, I'm relatively minimalistic when it comes to my journaling supplies. And so um, I don't need a lot of ephemera to make my pages feel colorful and filled with... Now, where does this tape start? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with the A6. <laughs> So I will film a journal lineup for 2024 video soon. I think I'm more or less set. I think I have made up my mind. This is a little crooked. I'll change that later. Uh, so that's going to come soon. Just quickly swatching these for you here. And then I also want to show you my... Traveler's Notebook regular size, what I'm doing in there, that's been working out so far. Do you already know your 2024 lineup or are you still um, debating with yourself? Are you unsure? Um, so here are the washi tapes. I think they're so pretty. You know, just a little bit of color if you just need a little, little something something here and there. I can also see these um, layer beautiful with beautifully with other washi tapes. I do like to do that. Um, let me see. Do I have an example like this here where I just basically collage washi tapes together? Really fun. Yeah, very very happy with that. Okay, let's take a look at my regular sized Ian. Um, I have used this for travel before. I took this to Germany um, to see my family before and to New York City last December. Um, but something new, okay, I'm gonna move this here, that I started maybe a month or so ago is this insert. And this is my storytelling research journal. So the way to think about this is it's basically a hobby journal or maybe even a commonplace book, but for the specific topic of storytelling. And so what I do is just um, take notes about uh, things that I'm researching. Uh, here, for example, I was watching a very insightful uh, YouTube essay, a video essay by Quality Culture uh, about a frog and toad. And so because I'm really interested in writing my own stories, also featuring anthropomorphic characters, I just took a note of uh, some of the things that they were highlighting in the essay of what makes frog and toad as stories so timeless and so charming and wholesome. So yeah, I took a bunch of notes just on the essay and then I did some more research on wholesome storytelling. How can you create stories that just, yeah, just have a wholesome, <laughs> wholesome vibe, I guess. Um, and so I uh, created this here and this is maybe a little bit more structured. I had watched a couple videos about commonplacing and how to approach a commonplace book. And so I think it might actually be useful for me to have a margin so that I can, whenever I do this type of research, I can uh, write down my own thoughts and reactions to it or make connections to other topics 
um, that I come across. So yeah, this is a very exciting and I'm definitely going to continue with this. And I think it works well in the uh, standard Tien size. I think it being so long, it gives you lots of space for writing and uh, or having little images and then creating a caption for them. Uh, this particular insert is Tomoya River paper in the cream color with grid. And it's a collaboration between Baumkuchen and, well, it's just, uh, and Traveler's Notebook, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so that's fun. So now I'm thinking I might get another one of these and create just a general commonplace book, uh, because I also like to keep quotes and thoughts about uh, mindset and goal setting and other arty, artsy, <laughs> artsy topics or how to be an artist and artist life and uh, mental health and those kinds of things and obviously I wouldn't necessarily want to mix that with the uh, with the storytelling because here I'm I'm very particular about what I'm looking for in in this research and in this notebook so then I could um, this is an just an old insert of just some creative journaling and memory keeping I think I've shown uh, these pages before and so this is pretty much done so I would retire this and then maybe just have two commonplace notebooks in in this upper that would be kind of fun um, I also finally added a charm on this one here did I do that right yeah uh, I just found um, a charm set with cute little birds at Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> uh, so I have a little birdie on here. So yeah, so that's sort of currently what's going on. Just commonplacing and uh, yeah, trying out the passport size, but actually settling for the A6 and just some wonderful, wonderful new tapes and I don't know where the folder went. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, lots of goodies. Uh, I'm very excited about all that is to come in the next couple months in terms of journaling and setting up with the new journals for the new year and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, let me know what's on your desk these days. Are there any new supplies or new journals or more of the same? Um, I, I'd love to know and I'd love to chat with you about it in the comments. But for now, thank you so much for sharing this time with me. And until next time, happy journaling!